dynamic routing using Bellman Ford algorithm. In the previous video, we have discussed one static routing technique. So, where the static table was fixed and that is that is why it is called static. But here in this case, depending upon the current congestion levels at different routes, the routing table will be changed. So, just look at this particular network. Here we are having multiple bridges are there. So, we are trying to form or trying to construct the bridge routing table for this J bridge. So, now what will happen in case of Bellman Ford algorithm, J will ask the routing tables from the adjacent neighbors. So, these neighbors are K because we are having this direct edge between this J and K and also H, A and I. So, I, A, I, H, K, they are the neighbors of this bridge J. So, now what will happen? J will ask the respective neighbors to send their routing tables, these bridges, and then J will form its own routing table depending on that, and that will be broadcasted to all the four neighbors. So, similarly, this particular neighbor will be collecting routing tables for its own neighbors, it will form its routing table, and then that will be broadcasted to the next or to, to their immediate neighbors. So, in this way, the routing table will go on updating, go on updating and that is the way of this dynamic routing table formation which has been suggested in this Bellman Ford algorithm. So, now here you see this is the A routing table from A to A the delay time is 0, from A to B the delay time is 12. So, this is a routing table it has been done. So, respective delays to reach from that A to other uh, bridges. This is a routing table for I, routing table for H and this is our K. And J knows that J to A delay is 8 unit, J to Y delay is 10 unit, J to H delay is 12 unit and J to K is delay is 6 units. Okay. Now, see how A is forming, sorry, how this J is forming its routing table. See, what will be done? This value and this delay, that means from A to A delay is 0, but from to reach from J to A, the delay is 8. So, this delay plus this delay then this plus this, this plus this and this plus this will be calculating and then we shall take the minimum one and then respective delay will be written and the respective bridge name. So, let me go for the uh, details. So, 0 plus 8 means 8, 24 plus 10, 34, 20 plus 12 that is 32, 21 plus 6 that is 27. So, what is the minimum one? 8. So, 8 through a bridge. That means, J will go to A through A bridge and the delay time will be 8 because B knows that what A knows that what are the delays are there required to reach this respective bridges and J knows that to reach A what is the delay is required. So, if you go on adding them and in this way if you do the same for the rest all the three uh, bridges in that case the minimum one will be taken and respective bridge number will be written. Let me go for another one. So, 20 plus 8 sorry 12 plus 8 20, 36 plus 10 46, 31 plus 12, 31 plus 12 that is our 43, 28 plus 6 that is our 28 plus 6 that is our 34. So, now just consider which is the minimum one that was a 20. So, 20 through A. So, in this way J is forming its routing table. This is a new estimated delay from J. Just consider F here, just consider F. Here you can find that out of this 23, 20, 19 and 40, 19 is the minimum, but it is not getting calculated in that way. It is getting calculated in this way, 23 plus 8, 31, 20 plus 30, uh, 10, that is a 30, 29 plus 12, that is a 31, 40 plus 6, that is a 46. So, what is the minimum one? That is a 30. So, 30 is the delay and travel from, travel through I bridge. So, what will happen? J will make its routing table through this particular calculations and then J will broadcast this routing table to its four immediate neighbors which who are directly connected through some uh, link and then they will be also doing the same and again they will be sharing their routing tables to this J and J will go for the next version of the routing table. So, depending upon the current state of the congestion, this routing table will go on getting refreshed and updated. So, that is why this routing table is called dynamic routing.
Thanks for watching this. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.